someone who's looking to find the right path for you. Maybe you just graduated high school uh, and you're going into college. Maybe you just graduated college and you know, you've know you gotten out, you've got your degree and you've just started looking for a job and you just can't find anything. Or maybe you're 25, maybe you're 30 years old and you've been somewhere for the last five or six years and you just get up every day and you just, you know, just hate doing your job. Maybe you're in your mid thirties or maybe you're in your forties like me who have spent 20 years doing something and you've just come to the point in time in your life where you know there needs to be a change. Or maybe you're 50 or maybe even in your early 60s and you know you've retired from somewhere but yet you're not a person that really wants to retire. What could you possibly do? Well, I'm gonna tell you why I have chosen to go into trucking and I hope it's beneficial to you. My name is Chuck and I am 43 years old. I have spent the last 17 years as the owner of a garage door company and over that time uh, I've enjoyed the entire journey, the entire uh, ups and downs of owning my own business and also the rewards of that. Uh, it's been very successful over the past uh, you know 17 years and you know it's, it's basically set my family up for retirement but for me as someone who's 43 years old, I finally came to the point where I just said, you know, what is it that I can teach myself that I can do well into my 60s and well into my 70s? You know, doing garage door work, uh, you're constantly in really hot garages. Sometimes they're 20, 30 degrees, 120, 120 to 130 degrees inside the garage. If you've ever stepped out into one, maybe to get in your car or just to go get something and during the, the heat of the summer, you realize how hot it is. And in the winter time, you're constantly out in the cold. Uh, it's not something where you're just temporary in, you're, you're in it a lot. And so, you know, after doing that again for as long as I have, I decided I wanted to do something different. And so I began to look and begin to talk to different people about something that, again, I could do well into my 60s and 70s. It wouldn't be uh, a lot of demand on my body. It wouldn't require a lot of, you know, heavy lifting and things like that. And I talked to a gentleman uh, who was a truck driver. And he told me that he had been trucking for almost 13 years. And he told me what he loved about it. He told me what he hated about it. And after spending about 45 minutes talking with him, I knew that that's something I really wanted to look at. And, and like so many of us today, you know, we jump on YouTube and we begin to look up certain subjects, whether it's, you know, maybe you're thinking about, you know, going and being a welder. You may follow a, a gentleman who's welding. Um, I started following some people that were YouTubers and they were truck drivers and you know it doesn't take long you can get through some of them and you can realize you know that's you know th there's gonna be different variations of everything that's out there and I've always truly believed that you can take something from anyone meaning you can learn something from anybody it doesn't matter what the vessel looks like sometimes it's the content that comes out of that vessel that can be beneficial to you and it doesn't mean I you know watch all their videos or anything like that but from time to time uh, some channels that I normally wouldn't watch just maybe because of the way they talk or you know just how they carry themselves if they're talking about a specific title I'll listen to what they have to say because there are nuggets of gold in everybody and I, I was definitely been taught as a kid growing up you know do more listening than you do talking uh, and that goes a long ways for you in you succeeding in life and so, you know, like again, like I said, so many of us start, you know, searching YouTube and looking at different uh, channels and, you know, trying to figure out, you know, is this going to be something that I'm going to be able to do? And then once I determined, yes, this is going to be a lifestyle change, um, at that point, I then had a discussion with my wife and my sons. Uh, my wife I've been married to, we were high school sweethearts. We've been married now for 24 years. Uh, I've got an 18 year old son who's graduating. Uh, here, here next month and then I have another son who is uh, about to turn 15 and so I know I needed them on board with me because if, it, if they weren't going to be supportive of it it wasn't something that I was going to do because it requires so much from your family you know they sacrifice you being there all the time you know even though now in our days of technology it does make it much simpler meaning that you can jump on FaceTime and um, the trucker the gentleman that I talked to, he said, yeah, he goes, he has a son who's 14 and he plays soccer. 
He goes, every soccer game my wife goes to, you know, I throw the, 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 the cell phone up on the dash and I'm cruising down and, you know, and I'm listening to the game or, you know, I can watch it in playback uh, during FaceTime or she'll record it or something like that. And, and so, yes, we can be attached to our family even though we're gone. It doesn't mean that it's going to be easy, but I think it makes it a little bit uh, manageable, I guess I could say. And none of us really know how we're going to feel until we get out there. You know, I'm anticipating I'm going to be going to, well, I will be going to trucking school uh, the 13th of May. I will be leaving here and headed uh, out uh, to where I'm going to be going. And I'm going to reveal what company I'm going to be going to in the next couple of videos because I'm going to be showing you what to pack. I'm going to be telling you what to study. You know, what are some of the resources that are out there? What apps are out there? You know, what are some things that you can do to prepare yourself before you get to trucking school? Because that is going to alleviate a lot of stress in your life when you get there. Um, no matter whether or not you're going to a community college or whether or not you're going to go to a boat tech, or maybe you're going to go to a truck driving school, I'm actually going to go to what they call a mega carrier and get my training there just because I think it's going to be more hands-on. It's going to be less sitting in a class, uh, class uh, room reading books and watching videos. And I, I'm a hands-on type person. I like to get out there and put my hands on something and this school is going to allow me to do that. Uh, but there are some things that, that I have to get uh, ready to go when I get there. And so I'm going to go over all those things so that when you get there you have everything that you need ready to go. So I want to go over just some things that you know that I just jotted down really quickly that I wanted to share with anybody again that may be thinking about going into trucking. You know some of the reasons why, why I'm going to go into trucking. You know I, I mentioned one of them earlier. Number one, and the first one I'm going to say is simply because it's something that you can do well into your 70s. Um, just in my research and truck driving, you know as long as you can pass physicals and you can get a health card and you know of course you can see and and all of those types of things you can. There's truck drivers out there that are, you know, 70, 71 years old and probably older. This oldest gentleman I found was 72. Maybe you're watching this and you want to leave down in the comments, you know, how old you are if you don't mind sharing with us. That way that kind of encourage some of us that are looking to get into uh, into trucking. So I know it's something that I can, I can learn and teach myself and something I can do well, uh, you know, past my, you know, retirement ages because I'm one of them people I really don't care to retire. Um, I'm just a worker, uh, you know, in some aspects I've been a workaholic in my life, but you know, I want to be able to do something that's going to be allow me to be more flexible as I get older because trucking will allow you to, you know, find, you know, a lot of different types of jobs and that kind of goes into number two is, you know, you always have a job. You know, they say uh, there's a gentleman, uh, Junior Honduras, uh, who is a, uh, a driver and he's a trainer and he has something in these things, you know, when you get your CDL, the CDL stands for the NBA, never broke again. And whether or not you're broke now or maybe you've, you know, been on some rough times, which we all have, it's something that will always, you'll always be able to get a job and create income for you and your family, uh, if you have a family. And so that was, you know, something that I really wanted to do. You know, a lot of people go out and get their CDL, they'll work for a company, they'll be what's called an OTR driver or an over the road truck driver. Guys that are out on the road sometimes, you know, two, three, four months at a time before they come home. And you know they, they do that for a couple of years, and then they'll come home and find a local job, maybe working for um, UPS or FedEx or you know just somebody that's driving that has to have a CDL Class A license. Uh, so it's something that again you can you if you want to pick up and move to Dallas, Texas, and you live in you know somewhere in California, you can do that and have a job almost I mean just immediately. So that's what's great about having your CDL or being a truck driver as well. Three, I think you have to be a person who loves challenges. Um, it's not about just putting your hands on a steering wheel and, and driving this, this massive truck. It's also huge. You have to be able to you know, manage your time. You have to be able to manage loads. You have to be able to manage um, you know, situations because every day is going to be a little bit different. You get to places that take longer to, you know, get you loaded or unloaded, and so it's one of those jobs that, you know, you know, you get a flat tire, you know, truck breaks down. There's, there's always going to be something. Now, there's going to be great days. You have more days where everything is pretty calm and you're just driving down the road. But there's going to be some days that are going to be challenging. Um, and if you're up for a challenge, I think truck driving uh, would definitely be something that that would benefit you. If you're one of them people and you just say, Chuck, I like everything to be, I don't I don't like challenges, I don't like I don't like anything messing up my schedule, then truck driving definitely probably wouldn't be for you. 
Number four, I would say the work environment. You know, so many people live, you know, in a world where they get up every day, they go to work, and maybe you work in an office, maybe you work in a cubicle, maybe you work somewhere where you're confined with this, you know, in a, in a factory or somewhere where you're always around the same people all the time. And, you know, if I, I've had a job like that in my life, and I know sometimes that can be very hectic um, because not everybody is at work to do the job and do their very best and leave. You have other people there that can be very cancerous. You have people that are very negative. You have people that are, um, you know, can be very mean to others. And it, when you're in that environment, that affects you. What's nice about truck driving is if you're gonna be a solo truck driver, which I'm going to be, um, you know, you pretty much have your truck and you have your job to get something from A to get to B. And yes, you have a fleet manager and um, yes, you have a dispatch or something that you have like that if you're working for a company. Uh, but pretty much they're going to leave you alone. I mean, you're, you're going to be there to make your own decisions and you know, you're not going to have someone breathing over your back and you're not going to have to worry about the local gossip and you know, unless you just get caught up into <laughs> you know, CB radios or something like that, which I don't know a lot of people even use anymore. But it, it is a, a chance for you to kind of get away from all of that and have a job that you know, you're not really having to worry about other people around you. Uh, you're not having to worry about pleasing people. You're not having to worry about, you know, listening to their gossip or, or anything like that. It's just you, the radio, the open road, you know, and your family over the phone and podcasts and music and ebooks and, you know, all those types of things. Uh, so I would say definitely a, a change of work environment would be another reason why uh, I know I am changing. Not so much because I have that issue, but I'm just looking for, a, for that type of closed environment. The next thing I would say that, you know, I, I read it a couple of years ago, it was back in 2017, I'll throw it up on the screen here. Uh, there was a Gallup poll and they polled people and 85% of the people they polled said they could basically couldn't stand their job. So if you were to walk outside, you know, whether you live in an apartment, you live in a house in addition, you look at 10 homes. Almost nine of those homes have people that reside in them that get up every day. They get up at 8 o'clock, they get up at 7 o'clock every Monday, and they go to a job they can't stand, and they find themselves just living for the weekend. And, you know, it's, you know, when you get into that rut of always living for the weekend because you can't stand your job, and maybe you're stuck in that job because you've gotten, you know, maybe you've created a lifestyle that won't allow you to physically to get out of because you can't afford to. Or maybe you know you have so much debt, and where you work, you don't feel like you can go somewhere else and and find a job that you you can make the same amount of money. Or maybe it's just a job that that's all you've ever known, and you're a person that really likes to be comfortable. Uh, there's all kinds of reasons why people don't love their jobs. You know, very few people you know do what they actually love. And you know, one thing about truck driving that I think that you know I think would be bene it's going to be beneficial to me is that every day isn't about you know, working a Monday through Friday job and being in that rut of, you know, oh, it's Friday. And then it's Saturday and then it's Sunday afternoon and it's kind of like, oh, well, you know, going to get ready to tackle this next week again. You know, like some people say, oh, it's back to the grind. With, with trucking for me and the, just my perception of it, and again, it's one of those things, yes, is it going to be where you're, everything is a, is a rat race. Everything is going from here, going to there, going to there. But what's going to be nice about it is you're not so much living for a weekend. Yes, you're living to get one load to another destination and then getting another load and going somewhere else. And there may be some of that that can become a grind. But I think that you have the opportunity to, you know, be able to be somewhere every day, you know, new. And I think changing a work environment where you're not going to the same place every single time. You may be doing the same thing, but your work atmosphere is going to be different. You know, your atmosphere can be as positive as you are. It doesn't matter if you go into a shipper or a receiver and the lady behind or the gentleman behind the, the window is just mean to you. You know what? You can just look at him and smile and say, yes, sir, no ma'am. And, and you can control your environment because that's what you're going to live in is your truck and, and what you're doing. Uh, so I, I think for me, is it's no more going to be this, oh, it's Monday, because as a truck driver, it doesn't matter if it's Sunday, it doesn't matter if it's Monday, because you're not working to get to two days off. You're just out there doing the job. 
And I think that's going to be very, that would be very beneficial for a lot of people. And then finally, I think a lot of people will get into trucking or why I'm getting into trucking is because it's, it is something that you can make a great income at doing. You know, you really are going to get what you put into it. That's in any job. It doesn't matter if you go down and you work for the UPS store or you go down and you're working for Walmart or you go down and you're working for Caterpillar or Williams Company or, or anywhere. You're, you're going to get what you put into anything. And trucking will afford a lot of people who are maybe just starting off in life, or maybe at the, or, or, or towards the maybe they're on the set, the back nine of life. I like to call it kind of like I think I probably am. Is you're over 40 years old, and you know you're, you're looking for something different, but you're also looking for something that's going to pay you a, a decent wage. And that's what I love about trucking and, and my research in on it is that it doesn't matter if you're a man, it doesn't matter if you're a woman. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, black, white, Asian, Latino. It doesn't matter. You're treated the same from the standpoint of you've got a job to do. There's more and more women get into trucking now than ever before. The place I'm going to, I believe their entire fleet, I want to say they have a little over close to 9,000 drivers and 13% of their drivers are women. Uh, and so there's a lot of women that are going into trucking uh, because it's an equal pay. You know, you, a guy isn't paid any more to take a load somewhere than a woman is. And you know, it doesn't matter again what your nationality is, it doesn't matter what your religion is. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people are paid by the mile where I'm going to be going and I'm going to be paid, um, you know, a percentage. And so I'll get into all of that later on. But, you know, I think that's what's really cool about trucking is that it is something that, you know, you can make a great living in no matter what age you are. Uh, you know, I, I believe you got to be 21 to get your CDL, which I'm almost positive you do. I know they're starting to change that in some states where uh, people that are 18 years of old can go down and get a CDL, but I think you have to run within those states. But I think if you give that time, I think that's going to get passed and you may have some younger people um, that will be able to get their CDL and get into to commercial trucking because we all know there's a shortage in trucking. You know, nothing gets to where this, this computer right here. This iPad right here, this TV that's right here, the food we eat, the cars we drive, the clothes we wear, none of it gets to where it needs to be without a truck driver. Um, it used to be something that a lot of people uh, respected and I think maybe some of that has been lost because we do have some people in the industry that you know want to be you know just trash heaps on the, on the side of the roads. I mean Walmart starting to make it where a lot of people can't park there, truck drivers can't park on their properties. Uh, because we have truck drivers that are throwing their trash out on the ground or, or whatever. Uh, and so, yes, it is a lifestyle, but you know what? You can take your lifestyle on the road. You don't have to be like everyone else. If you're neat like I am, I'm OCD and about everything, you know, my truck is going to be clean. I'm going to be clean, hygienic. And, you know, again, later I'm going to be showing you the things I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be showing you what you can take with you to stay, you know, stay clean, stay fresh. And, you know, even though we, you can't take a shower each and every day. Um, but guys, I don't want to make this video too long. I've already went on long enough, but I hope you enjoy. I hope you will come along on this journey with me. I'm going to be vlogging everything. I've had a YouTube channel in the past. Uh, uh, called, it's called Corvettes 918. Uh, I've owned Corvettes. And uh, if you want to check out the channel, you get to know a little bit about who I am and, and kind of uh, my type of how I like to do things. But I'm going to be taking a GoPro Hero 7 with me when I go to training. Of course, I can't take all my camera gear with me. Uh, but once we get through, I will be vlogging it every day. I will be giving you updates. I will be telling you how you to take how you you know what you can expect on your CDL test. Um, you know what again everything that happens when I am out. If I can film it, I'm going to be filming it and sharing it with you. Uh, and then once I get my own truck, then I've got a lot of great ideas. I've got a lot of cameras. You'll be able to tell if you check out the, the channel. I'll have it linked below uh, my channel that I have uh, with Corvettes. I'm all about um, showing you a lot of different things. So uh, I want to thank you again for stopping by. And until I see you at the next video, which will be, I believe, what I'm going to be taking with me. Uh, I'll see you guys and have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, life's short. Make it sweet.